If I read this every day, it's guaranteed to happen. I know it's gonna happen. It feels good on this journey to see my breathing and my stamina just expand and just, just get better. When I first started running a mile, I did a mile in 15 minutes. The following week, I chopped that time down to eight minutes. And then I started running two miles a day and then three miles a day. I just feel so energized. I just feel so open. I feel like this is what I do. I feel like an athlete. How are you feeling about like those different workout days? Because I had you kind of mixed it up. It's good to be able to run on the trip, run on the track. Now I'm about to take it to the next step. When I get back, I'll be starting by running through the neighborhood. Right. I'm worried that you're faster than me at this point. It's kind of, it scares me that you've gone from like barely running a half mile to running two miles comfortably. It just feels great, man, just to be out here doing this in my city, you know, holding my head up high. All the trials and tribulations that I've been through, just to be able to jog through my neighborhood. When I'm running, I'm worried about me. I'm worried about my breath. I'm worried about my body. I'm worried about my mind. And I'm worried about my destination. I feel unstoppable. Man, never thought I'd say this, but it's the most comfortable I ever felt on this street. My best friend Mike used to live right here. We used to play basketball all the time right there in that driveway, man. My boy Josh lost his life right here in this driveway. I'm proud to say that I'm from the inner city, the ghetto, as people like to say. I like to let people know where I'm from and let them know everything that I overcame to be here today. I never knew my mom, my father, my real biological parents. Some people let that just take over their whole life and they don't even want to wake up and get out of bed. But me, every day, I thought I need to accomplish something. My mind wouldn't allow me to just sink and be unfocused. I can't believe this is my neighborhood now. <laughs> like, I'm, I really live here. Like, this is, this is my actual community. That's mind-blowing. Every day I walk out here, I be like, damn, I live right here. This is just amazing, man. I like coming over here for motivation. When I see the water, when I see the houses, it makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel like I can keep dreaming and have one of these homes, too, you know? So I like to come over here, you know what I'm saying, just to elevate my mindset, just so it can keep growing. And I love it over here. And I like to let my anxiety go, take my time and just chill, vibe out. I know this is gonna sound narcissistic as hell, but I always knew that I was gonna make it. Man, it felt so good to be back. I haven't sat on this porch in a minute. Long time. It all started right here. Currently, who I got still in the neighborhood right now is my auntie and my cousin, who adopted me at 18 months. I consider them my mother and my sister. Are you hydrated and drinking plenty of water? Yeah, I did. Okay, um, great, great. Two bowels yesterday for the first time, so. I've been picking up every day, but yeah, it feels good to just be back here, oh, though. I feel so relaxed. I've been I probably the reason why I'm so fly and so tapped into my emotions and why I let people see my heart because I was raised in a household full of love. You've done t-ball, baseball, basketball, dabbled a little bit in football, yeah. skateboarding. Yeah. Uh, what else? And now we're at track. They were there for me when I didn't have nothing, when I didn't know what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to be a rapper, skateboarder, basketball player, computer scientist, whatever it was. My mom and my sister was always supporting me. This is a part of the reason why I feel like my birthday is every day. Moms and sis gave me the best cakes ever. <laughs> Look at this. Look you know at what the these that, Yeah, that's, that was nice. It's t -ball. Is. All right, this is where it all started right here, Ma. This is the one right here, T-Ball. 
This is when I knew I was gonna be an athlete one day. Look at that check swing. <laughs> Look, the, the ball's way back here, but I'm still swinging. Look. <laughs> it's so dope though, man, like how we talking about all these moments of me playing yeah. sports and trying to be an athlete, and now I'm doing this Look at you, thing, 20 yo. years later. Y'all taught me a lot. You've been blessed. Yeah. You really have. Yeah. And we were blessed to, to have you. Yeah, but I just want to thank y'all for continuously supporting me throughout all these years. And I know it's been a crazy journey, roller coaster. And so oh. I really want to give y'all credit, give y'all y'all flowers right now. Yeah, give for me. raising an amazing <laughs> human being, raising yes, an amazing yes, man. Somebody yes. who uh, never wanted to um, give up. Y'all instilled that in me. Hard work and dedication. I want to thank y'all for supporting me. Oh, it was easy. It was, it was easy. easy. Oh, Teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream. I just want to thank y'all, for real. Like, it's okay. I wouldn't even be here without you. I called my mom, my sister. You know, told them they were supportive. Like, yo, run, David, run. I called my friend Jay. I called Jeezy. I said, man, listen, this is what I'm doing, and they were right there on the track with me. Go, baby. Yeah. You already know it. Practicing that healthy lifestyle. Yeah. That feels good to know that no matter what path I take in life, I got family, I got friends. And as I keep leveling up in my career, I want to make sure that everyone around me feels a part of it. What you've accomplished over these last few years as a human being is, is and I don't even think you understand this. You didn't have a bank account because you didn't think you were going to live. You just didn't envision a world where you, you lived you know, past your 30s. And it's like, look where we are. On this journey, I learned that I need to slow down more. You get what I'm saying? As I run, as I pace myself, it's all about taking your time and developing something. And I want to transition that into everything that I do in my life. Pace myself. A lot of people are distracted by, oh, I want to go get the quick dollar, or oh, I want to go do this, or take the easy way out. Like me, I love the fact that I stay down. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many times I fail, I kept trying, and that's what I love about this experience is because I get to really just be me. I get to really just be free. I get to just really be running out here. I want everybody in the world to feel like me. I want everybody to feel this energy. I want everybody to feel like they can wake up and accomplish anything. All I ever wanted was to be great. All I ever wanted was to be self-made. All I ever wanted was to be healthy. All I ever wanted to be was an athlete. All I ever wanted to be was successful. All I ever wanted was peace and happiness.